In this video, I am going to show you how to use the HW516 timer module. This module offer multiple features and I think it can simplify any timer related projects. It has a wide time range variation from 999 minutes to 0.1 seconds. This is a MOSFET based module which is ideal for DC applications. However, the same module is also available with a relay. Use VIN and GND for DC voltage input. Out plus and out minus are for connecting motors, LED strips or other DC appliances. It works with DC voltage rating from 5V to 36V. There are 4 buttons, stop, set, up and down. I will explain their functions later. This LED indicates whether the output is on or off. This terminal is for the trigger voltage input, which supports a voltage range of 3V to 24V DC. If you want to the trigger voltage to come from the same input source, you need to short this connection point. It also has a 3 digit display. Sometimes understanding its different modes using this display can be complicated. I will try to explain the method and set up in a simple way so you can use it easily. My demonstration setup is ready. I am using a 12V LED strip as the output and supplying 12V DC as the input. For the trigger, I am using a 3.7V battery connected to a push to on switch. Ensure all DC positive and negative connections are made carefully. If I press the trigger button, the timer starts working. This module has 4 primary modes. Now I will explain how to use its different modes according to your needs. Press the set button once to view the previously set OP time. Press and hold the set button for 3 seconds to enter program mode. You can switch between program modes using the up and down buttons. To choose a mode, press the set buttons once. Use the up and down buttons to adjust the OP time. To exit the setup mode, press and hold the set button for 3 seconds. First mode is P1.1 which is on timer. Enter program mode, select P1.1 and set the OP time. I am setting 3 seconds. Exit the setup mode. In this mode, when the trigger is pressed, the LED strip will glow for 3 seconds. Then turn off. Second mode is P2 which is on and off timer. In this mode, you can set two times OP time, that means on time, and CL time, that means off time. I am setting OP time to 3 seconds and CL time to 5 seconds. When the trigger is pressed, the module waits for 5 seconds and then turns on for 3 seconds. Third mode is P3.1, it is on and off with loop timer. This mode allow you to set on time, off time and the loop count, means how many times the cycle repeats. Setting on time to 3 seconds, off time to 5 seconds and loop count to 3 times. When the trigger is pressed, the module repeats on and off cycle three times. Fourth mode is P4. In this mode setting only the OP time. I am setting OP time to three seconds. When the trigger is pressed and held, the LED strip remains on. After releasing the trigger, the timer counts 
the op time and then turns off you can adjust the time units using the stop button the position of the dot on the display determines the time range no dot 1 second to 999 seconds single dot 0.1 seconds to 99.9 seconds all dots 1 minute to 999 minutes for example if all dots are glowing and the display shows 1 the timer is set to 1 minute the led strip will remain on for 1 minute you can stop and resume timer anytime using stop button thank you for watching see you soon in the next video